Are you all ready for an adventure? Because I'm ready for an adventure. I I like this. I thought this thing looked pretty cool. So I purchased it. I cannot for the life of me find Champion's Path or Vivid, Vol Vivid, Vivid Voltage stuff, which is apparently very hard to get right now. So this, I believe, is base set Sword and Shield, which is cool. I mean, it's got V. It's got got V Max, and I can't believe that they didn't see a problem naming these things V cards. <laughs> but that's fine. <laughs> We're going to open this now. So for those of you wondering, this comes with the promo V card, a matching foil oversized card, four Pokemon TCG booster packs, and a code card, which will be, of course, going to you, the viewers, because that's just how I roll, fam. I'm so sorry I just said that word. I mean, I'm a bad person. I understand if you think a little less of me over it, but I can't take back the past. I can only, I can only change the future. You know what I'm saying? So here we go right here. Neat packaging and everything. I'm not sure what all four of the packs are. I'm hoping for an XY evolution and then the rest to be sword and shield, but we'll see. If they're all sword and shield, that'd be great, but I really feel like they're sneaking the sun and moon in here on me. So that's, that's whatever. I'm not gonna be mad about it if they do that. Just slightly offended. Oh. Yeah. yeah. There's your code. Enjoy it, people. And there's the card. What a real beaut, am I right? My, th <laughs> my third V card, everybody. Whoop, whoop. Collect them as I go. The oversized one's really cool, too. I like it. All right. So it looks like we get base set sword and shield. Son of a biscuit. Sun and moon. Cosmic eclipse, which it's fine. It's fine. Another sword and shield base. And yes. An XY evolutions. That's. Mmm, baby. We're going to save that one for the last. We'll start with this Sun and Moon Cosmic Eclipse pack right over here. Because why not? I've been getting way too obsessed with this stuff again. I swear to you, I... I'm not opening a single Pokemon pack without it ending up on here or, you know, maybe TikTok because I actually have been doing a little bit of... Ooh. Guys, I did it. You proud of me? That's for you. Okay. One, two, three, four. Let's see. We got an Erica. That's cool. A Rotom. Cynthia and Caitlin. A tag team supporter card. That's pretty cool. Fire Energy. Dupiter. Helioptile. Huh. Carvana, Tepig, this card here, Guzma and Hala, a tag team one, which is pretty cool, Verse Hollow, he's in that pre-built deck, and then a Glalie, which is okay, that's whatever. But what's this? Not too bad, not too bad. Um, stop it. Which one do I want to open first? I want to save this one to last, let's be real, that's just... That's just how I am. But I, I've i been opening way too many of these packs recently. I am spending a lot of money on Pokemon cards again. I mean, I have a reason, technically, because I'm working on my own card game. That being said... Okay, let's... Can we... Hello? That being said, it's just um, partially an excuse... I really just like opening Pokemon cards. I like opening packs of cards in general. Of things that I know and can recognize. So it's got to be a card game that I actually know how to play to an extent. Did it again, guys. I'm getting better at this. All right. There's that.
All right, one second. My cat's going crazy. Okay, jeez. My cat is in heat. She's a freaking nut job. All right. Ooh. A Galarin Lanoon. I like that. I like that quite a bit. A great ball. Hitmonchan. Oh, he looks cool, too. I like the artwork on that. Rhyhorn. Chinchow. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. Neat. And then a uh, Musharna. Okay, that's cool. Nothing too crazy yet. But some good, good trainer cards. I've been needing some. But yeah, I'm working on my own card game, and uh, so as such, I've been trying to get inspiration from a whole bunch of other ones. And so that means I'm back into Pokemon, and I've made, like, decks and everything, and I've been playing with some friends. There's that. One, two, three, four. Ooh, a Lumberry. That's neat. I haven't seen that one yet. <laughs> Raboot. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a cool. Cool Ghastly. All right. Slizipede. Yamper. Another Yamper. <laughs> and then Whim Whimsicott. Man, I don't have great luck with these things, though. If we're being real, I've pulled, what, one that's Sylvalli? which I mispronounced before. But other than that, I don't think I've pulled anything. Maybe these, like, sets aren't good. Maybe I should just go for trainer boxes and such. Because my luck is just poopy. I gotta say that to be real. There's that right there. One, two, three, I believe, yeah. All right, Potion. Pokedex. Poliwhirl, ooh, Diglett, Radita, Charmander, another Charmander, that's cool. A Pikachu. Ooh, Reverse Hollow Charmander. So now I have a Reverse Hollow Charmander and a Reverse Hollow Charmeleon. Radicate, that's not a rare. I don't know, man. This set's been a bit disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. Um Cause I think this is the third. I've opened three packs, and I think every single one's rare wasn't actually rare in the original set at all. This was definitely an uncommon. I'll prove it, too. Give me a second. Yeah, see? Yeah. Y'all really think that you can pull the wool over my eyes, do ya? Okay? You can fancy it up, but this still got... There's the 60 HP. Crunch? What the heck? Discard an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Okay, I'd say that that is actually better than Bite, even though it does 10 less, so that's whatever. And then you got Shadowy Bite compared to Super Fang. 60 damage times the number of special energy cards in your opponent's discard pile, which isn't awful. I'm not going to lie. Super Fang does damage to the defending Pokemon equal to half the defending Pokemon's remaining H HP. That's actually not too bad either. Hmm. I don't know. This one may be a little better. The resistance is different, too. This one just straight up has no resistance. So I don't know, man. But rare worthy? I don't know about that either. I, I, I don't know. It's, it, it's, it's whatever. But I knew that you weren't originally a rare. I know that that dugong wasn't originally a rare. That farfetched? Throwing a farfetched at me and telling me that that's a rare too? Man. It's whatever. But I, I guess overall it's... It's still fun to open them, which is which is great. And I did get this sweet card, which is going to be fun. I'm definitely going to use that. So overall, still a fun experience. Can't really complain. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.